Hey, welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're off to Hammer Staffsburg in beautiful Norway to have a look at another Orbix free airport. Let's go jump in the Cessna and have a look around and see what it's got to offer. And if you're new here and you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button below. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. Really great to have you all here. Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All in next plane 11. Props, jets, and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. So here we are at uh, ENHA Hammer Staffsburg in Norway. So this is a GA airport. It has uh, a runway which is orientated 15 and 33. It does, has a lot of local GA flying apparently, uh, helicopter training and generally uh, aviation flying. Uh, it has the Henmark Flying Club and the HAGL or Haggle Skydiving Club. I don't think I'm going <laughs> to go haggle with them. They might throw me out. So let's have a look at the airport. We'll have a look at the scenery around it and uh, I'll show you how poorly I take off and land at the moment. Feel free to laugh at me in the comments, that's perfectly okay. I know it's not good at the moment. I need to do more flying, I seem to be uh, trying to make uh, vids for you guys and, uh, and for myself because I love doing it. <laughs> but my flying is suffering terribly. So as you can see, the scenery is, uh, is pretty good quality. It's uh, five centimeters per pixel, I think. Uh, I'll just, yeah, five centimeters per pixel. Tom Nudson provide all the photographs. And this is a bit of um, 19 zoom level ortho just around the outside of the airport. Obviously, it must have been quite a uh, cloudy day when they did the ortho because we've got all the cloud, low clouds sitting there. So we'll do a turnaround. Got plenty of trees, lots of buildings. I'll take you for a couple of fly down and arounds um, so you can see it maybe a little bit better uh, from uh, at the end of the, the video. We've got a couple of quick flybys so you can have a look at those. So hang around, have a quick look at those. Get your scorecards out for another poor landing. It does seem to want to swing right then go left. There's a uh, eight knot crosswind from the left on the day that I did this. So I'm not sure why it swings so badly right but then you can see it's weather veining left. So let's see how my, uh, see my control inputs are about right. I've got left aileron in and I've got a bit of right rudder to keep me straight, which is how you're supposed to do it. But um, yeah, as you can see, I've got lots of right there at the moment. It's still wanting to veer left on me, which I don't really understand. The <laughs> left aileron shouldn't be affecting the directional stability at all. It should be just keeping my left wing down into the wind, which is, you know, how you're supposed to do a crosswind landing. We're taxing back up into the uh, the hangar area. You can see the wind socks blowing there. So there's a few knots. If it's straight, it's normally 10 knots or more. So it's approaching 10 knots still, and you can see it's coming directly across. So we have uh, uh, some old style buildings, We've got some cars. There's a few people around, uh, a couple of aeroplanes. Um, parked around there waiting to go uh, parachuting maybe. Now it does have some textured grass and you can just see it there on the right there. There's a little bit of grass there. Love to see that. I, I have said I think in my Oceano one it's just so nice to have some grass and some textures. If you haven't seen the Oceano one I'll have that linked in the uh, the notes above as well as another really good one by Prop Strike Studios as well, which is up in Canada. Uh, here we go down, let's have a quick look. So down 3-3, lots of buildings so you can taxi and stop anywhere you like. All the default stopping points or starting points are either either end of the runway or over near there near the uh, the hangar and the, um, the tower for what it is. So we run down and then let's run across and have a look from either side. So you can have a look at what's around. So this is sort of the limit of the airport, it seems. 
So you can taxi over this side and park if you uh, want to save yourself a spot. Over there, got some towers and bits. So, hey, it's great scenery and for, you know, for the price, it's pretty good. I always think these need to be really good. They, you can't get slack on these, can you? Because you want people to go, wow, that's wonderful, and come and buy more products. So it's looking pretty nice. So if you like that and uh, you like the video, please, again, feel free to hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will catch you in another video. And I'm not sure what the next one's going to be. I think we're going to do some more airports because I've got some privately built ones by one of the guys, one of my subscribers. So Hammer Statsburg Airport, nice airport. Go download it. Download the uh, installer as well. Get it on. Give it a fly. And I'll catch you again here in Let's Fly VFR real soon. It's plane 11. Props, jets, and much more. All done in real world weather. Make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.